This might be a little bit of a shock, but commonly Robux ruins a lot of kids' experience on Roblox. Before the video starts, make sure to go ahead and click subscribe. Once you do, comment I subscribe down below and I will pick one lucky person at the end of each month to receive a shout out. Now, let's get on with this video. Roblox is a game loved by many, but most commonly kids and teens. Like any other game, however, it's not completely perfect and definitely has its downfalls and annoyances. If you're an avid Roblox player, you've probably come to know some of them, and if not, well, that's why I'm here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 9 things that ruin Roblox for kids and honestly, all of its players. Be on the lookout for some of these things the next time you play. Starting off with the obvious, hackers. I think anyone would agree that hackers in any game are the literal worst. Whether you're really tryharding to win a game and they just win it automatically with ease, or they come into your server just to wreak as much havoc as possible. They are relentless beings with the only goal of ruining the game for all other players. Roblox overall has been pretty decent with banning those they catch hacking, and through the years they've definitely built up a tolerance to them and their code. However, it's not always foolproof. Hackers are still very much common in Roblox and your best bet, if you see one, is to join a new server or play a new game altogether. Secondly, this might be a little bit of a shock, but commonly Robux ruins a lot of kids' experience on Roblox. If you're unfamiliar, Robux is the in-game currency and the only way to obtain it is by purchasing a monthly membership called Builders Club, buying it outright, or creating a game and or making clothing to sell on the site for a profit. A lot of kids don't quite have the know-how to do the last two, and it also requires a monthly subscription. I've found that a lot of parents don't always have the money to support their child's gaming, or sometimes they just don't trust giving their payment info out to a random site. Therefore, a lot of kids go without Robux. And no, it isn't the biggest deal in the world. Roblox is a free-to-play game, however, as we'll talk about in a bit, there's a bit of a negative energy surrounding players considered as noobs, which are basically players without a customized avatar, which, shocker, you need Robux to be able to do. This often leads kids to third-party sites that promise free Robux, which in turn put viruses on their computer, hack their accounts, and can even locate where they live through IP addresses. It's also been a common trend for kids to steal their parents' credit card in order to purchase currency. So, as you can see, Robux can be a huge issue if the parent is not monitoring their child closely enough. Third up on the list, we've already talked about the dangers of hackers and Robux, but what about the actual people on Roblox? Don't get me wrong, the majority of the players are young kids who innocently are just looking to play some games. However, with any kid-related game, there's bound to be adults out there looking to trick kids into thinking they themselves are children. It's sad, but it's unfortunately the world we live in. Luckily, Roblox has a decent policy as far as sharing personal information, however, with the ability to link other social media such as YouTube and Twitter to Roblox profiles, this may lead to chatting outside of the site or even digging for more personal information. This is mainly just another reason that parents should monitor their children closely while playing the game. Even though it is kid-friendly, people will commonly take advantage of that since no one will suspect anything. Always be super careful of anyone sending weird messages to you or in chat and be sure to report them straight away. Somewhat along with that same topic at number four, we have online daters. Commonly referred to as oh dears, this has been a huge epidemic on the game for years. For the most part, it's innocent between two kids sending cutesy messages or I love yous. However, like mentioned before, adults can take advantage of kids looking to have this type of relationship with someone on the game. 
online dating in Roblox is very against Roblox's policy, so if it's seen and reported, it's likely those guilty of it will be warned or banned straight away. More often than not, it's usually more of an annoyance instead of something dangerous. I mean, who wants to see two kids talking about kissing or loving each other in a game? No one. And at number 5, I've gotta bring up possibly one of the most annoying things about Roblox. The chat filters. I think what's so frustrating to me about them is half the time they don't even detect curse words or if someone is saying inappropriate things but it always seems to censor out what I say in chat, even if it's completely family friendly. And being a kid friendly game, no kids should be exposed to that kind of language since they usually will end up repeating it. But half the time it's kids themselves saying the derogatory things they shouldn't be in chat, so... I don't know. If parents would happen to oversee something inappropriate, they would likely not allow their kids to play anymore, which is unfortunate because it is a great game. I definitely believe that they should consider remaking their sensor system though. Next up at number 6, the treatment of noobs can definitely ruin the gaming experience for new players or those who are trying to game without the ability to get robux. It's so common that being a noob is a bad thing, so it's likely if you come online as one, you can be ridiculed and possibly bullied. Not to worry because there are games such such as Royal High, Roblox Sea World, and more that have the option to dress up in games, so it's less noticeable that you do have a noob skin, so that's always an option. And Roblox does have a no bullying policy, so they don't commend that type of noob treatment at all. If you were to report whoever was saying those types of things, it's likely they'd be greeted with a warning or a ban next time they were to log on. And now at number 7, something almost as bad as hackers are the trolls. Trolls are possibly even worse than hackers because usually hackers are just out to win the game, not so much ruin yours, but a troll's only goal is to ruin the gameplay for others. Usually trolling isn't bannable behavior like hacking is, so there's that as well. Trolls can't break a map or win a game automatically, but they can weigh your team down if the game you're playing is team-based get in your way, and just overall be a big nuisance, thus ruining the Roblox experience for some other players. Similar to hackers, if you see one in game, it's probably best to move on to a new server or game altogether. You could try and reason with them, but the outcome you're looking for is unlikely. Second to last, clickbait is another ruiner for Roblox players. And no, I'm not referring to clickbait YouTube videos, I'm actually referring to clickbait in-game. Let me explain. When browsing for a new game to play away from the designated games page on Roblox, you can often be met with empty promises of super cool and fun games that people have to offer, only then to be met with a sucky map with nothing to do. Some will even promise things like free admin or Robux, and obviously more common than not, you get nothing from joining. It's definitely a common issue and Roblox does okay at weeding out the most ridiculous ones. However, with thousands of people making thousands of games a day, it's definitely hard to keep up with which ones are legit and which ones aren't. And last but not least, guys, at number 9, scammers have to be the most ruthless, annoying game ruiners out there. Especially on Roblox, there's an array of different types of scammers all after different things. From people who spam messages in-game, third-party sites, YouTubers, and even traders who don't hold up their end of the deal, they're unfortunately the biggest nuisance in the game. Roblox does their best to weed them out, however, they're always going to be around, especially with the in-game currency. My best advice is that if someone is offering a trade, make sure you're doing it legitimately in Trade Hangout or the trade system in-game. And if someone offers you free Robux, just don't believe it. It's likely just a play to get you to hand over your Roblox account. Anyways guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know if you've ever been victim to any of these nuisances or if this video helped you in any way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment once you do to be entered into my monthly shout out giveaway.
That's it for me. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.